hello guys i have a quick update to share with you but before then wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day all right um without wasting much of your time you have seen it already on your screen nigerian army burning houses killing innocent resident in Imo state okay um that is coming from ipob i will give you more details on this but please i am begging if you are yet to subscribe try and do so turn on your bell notification so you get updates whenever i publish a new video update news like this uh for you guys uh it's part of your effort of supporting me and as you keep supporting me whatever you do uh, god will also support you so um the ipob has alleged that the killings and genocide in some part of Imo state are perpetrated by men of the Nigerian army and a Bubago security outfit. IPOB in a statement by its spokesperson, Emma Pafu, said soldiers are now going house to house, searching, searching for and killing innocent citizens in Olu in Imo State. The group said terrorists had continued to kill Nigerians in the North region with little or no intervention by security agencies while they invade communities in the southeast region a statement from the group in quote our people are under severe attack and torture anywhere they are seen we are dying every day and night the world look the other way ipob worldwide cannot afford to allow them continue with the atrocities against our people it is no longer news that the nigerian army in collaboration with the bubago militia burning down people's properties, and now they have metaphors into burning human beings alive in Obuwa and other communities in Biafra land. Two days ago, Nigerian soldier in collaboration with the Bubiago security outfit burned 17 lives in all local government and its environment, with many houses and properties of innocent citizens were destroyed completely. Biafran people living in all local government and its environment are under siege. They are under total pressure to leave the ancestral land because Nigerian government and its security agencies. The soldiers are busy killing innocent citizens simply because they are suspected to be IPOB members without confirming that. Besides, IPOB members are not terrorists. IPOB is present in over 100 countries and their members are not treated as criminals in any of those countries, except in the Fulani control Nigeria. We are calling on the international community, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch Organization, Inter-Society Group and other reputable human rights organizations across the globe to take note and prevail on the Nigerian government and its security agencies to leave Biafra territory. The war should come and rescue Biafra because they are facing difficulties in hands of Nigerian government at this time. We need help from in international community to rescue us by separating us from Nigeria. Our people are dying every day in the hands of Nigerian government and its security agencies. Obuwa and Olu residents are facing hard time because Nigerian and its security agencies, especially the military, map out these communities for total destruction. Nigerian army is now going from house to house searching for and killing innocent citizens just because they are Biafrans. Nigerian army should stop murdering our brothers and sisters. It is because we are Bia is it because we are Biafrans? There is a genocide going on now in Biafra land by Nigerian security agencies. The world must come to our rescue now. All right, guys, so that was um, the statement by Emma Powerful. I, I really don't know what is going on because, um, like I keep saying it, if um, the same energy the Nigerian military put in whenever they hear Biafra, if they put such energy in tackling bandits and um, terrorists, I believe uh, Nigerian will not be you know, discussing or talking about insecurity. Now, recent in Kaduna, there was a bomb blast in Tarawa, Taraba State. Yesterday, there was also a bomb blast and so on. Is it because these people are armed? 
are they afraid of people being armed? Because as long as we know, Biafrans or IPOB, they are harmless human beings. They don't carry arms. Yes, but is it because these people are armed, well armed with bombs? That could be the reason why the military is afraid of them. Of course, they already know that uh, Nigeria is not worth dying for. As a military man, Nigeria is not worth dying for. Because even if you die today, nobody will remember you. Nobody will remember your family. So maybe because those guys, they know very well that IPOB, they are harmless human beings. Whenever they hear anything that has to do with Biafra, IPOB, that is where they flex their muscles. That is my own observation. But however, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.